The growth at CVG, the demand for FAA certified aviation technicians is even greater. To fill that demand, Cincinnati State Leadership is co-piloting a program with the Kenton County School District, giving high school juniors an early takeoff into an aviation career. We can do so many things here. We get to build our own drone. We get to work on airplanes. And we look forward to their drone certification that they're going to earn this year and the two additional certifications they're going to earn over the next year in a area, a pathway that is highly needed and in high demand in our tri-state area. We're really excited about this. This is the first time in our 50 year history that we've had high school students in our program. The program is available to Kenton County School District students enrolled at Dixie Heights, Simon Kenton, or Scott High School. Along with a drone kit, students receive financial assistance, collaboration meetings with regional aviation leaders, and transportation to Cincinnati State's West Campus, which sits on a general aviation Airport in Harrison, Ohio. It's a wonderful recognition of the fact that partnerships can occur across the river. It's an opportunity was amazing because uh, I get to leave the campus, learn about something that I'm really interested in, and it just makes me feel like I'm a, I'm a little special since there's only 15 people that got to get in this program. I said it's never too young to start learning. You can learn how to fly an airplane and be a licensed pilot by 16, so you can be a fully licensed mechanic by the age of 18. So we're starting that program a little bit early for them. Our goal for them is at the 18th birthday that they're eligible to test for their airframe certificate which is basically allows them to work on the structure and all the systems associated uh, with the airframe. Scholars who complete the half-day two-year program can earn up to 29 hours of college credit and three national certifications, including a drone operator FAA license. These kids get the opportunity that no other Northern Kentucky kids get to pursue learning how to work on the planes and fly the drone aviation. This gives us a great opportunity for our college career in the future. We can get lots more money and just be able to work with airplanes is a great opportunity. Yes, I feel a lot more connected now that I've gotten this opportunity to be here. I'm really amazed because um, this is a really expensive program and they got it an uh, opportunity for us to, to do this. Today's classroom inside a single engine plane. The students took up the yoke along with an instructor to learn how to taxi an aircraft. Ground direction provided by classmates was also part of today's lesson. We're a hands-on type of technology. It's really important for our kids to get a lot of hands-on activity. We've got a lot of students who are going to go into the workforce after high school, especially in our region with the airport and so many aviation jobs out there. Your rotary beacon. Classroom instruction is an active learning environment as well. Students share learning space with jet engines, helicopters, airplanes, and simulators designed to learn flight system electronics. 50% of the time you're going to be working on aircraft and engines and systems and things like that. The other half of the time you're going to be in the classroom learning about those systems and, and structures. That's really our technology, electronics and things like that, and that's really the future where we're headed. And with the future jobs of the tri-state area projected to be heavy in aviation, this learning path will certainly get these students off to a flying start, whether they go to college or take a direct flight into the job market.